Promo. Any news from the quarterbacks this first week? Yeah, you know, with the uh, you know Allen Zane and Garrett. What about them? What have you noticed? You know, things you've liked, things you haven't liked, and they they're on. doing good. I mean, Bowman is more comfortable this year because um, this offensive system over the last fifteen years, or maybe even more than that. Well, it has been more than that because. My first year here, Fedora was the coordinator, and that was a system that was driven by quarterback play. And it's it, quarterbacks that are in this system and understand the concepts of what we try to get accomplished always play better than they do when they just show up because, one, they don't have experience, and two, they don't really understand what we're trying to do on offense. Bowman now has had a lot of snaps, and that's an advantage for him at this time. It's like Rangel. Rangel's never really been in there long enough for us to evaluate him. Um, there's times he's shown that the uh, guy makes plays, and there's times people said, well, he didn't play very good, but he hadn't had a chance to learn our system. And you can go back over the years for all the quarterbacks that we've had here, and once you learn the system, you get a lot better. And I think that benefits him at this time. We noticed a big jump from Zane from last year. Now, I know, I think earlier in the season, we asked you directly about Zane. You said he wasn't ready yet, and he was you know, further down the pecking order. Now he's you know, one of the four quarterbacks. Have you noticed a progression from him specifically? I, I think he's ready now. He's just not experienced. But he, he's, um, he's big. He's strong. He's fast. He's smart. He's tough. His attitude's good. He's humble. He's hungry. He hadn't played. But that's the difference now compared to this time last year.